hey y'all, it's Corey with Everyday Man. Doing everyday reviews for everyday people. Now it's Thursday morning, I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. Yesterday evening when I got off of work, I got in a truck and headed north. Me and Mrs. Everyday drove about 600 miles north and we still in Tennessee. You know you from the south when you can do that. Drive 600 miles north and still be in Tennessee. But we're gonna talk about why right after this. We're four hours from Cincinnati, Ohio. Now there's a there's an RV in Cincinnati that I'm driving to go see. Now you may ask, why are you driving from South Louisiana to Cincinnati to go see an RV? Well, let me give you a hint. It's got something to do with the tie downs on this pickup truck and we left the tailgate at home. We are going to look at a truck camper. Now we're driving 12 hours because those things don't exist in Louisiana. So I found a, a used one at a dealership just outside of Cincinnati. So we're on our way to go check it out. And maybe, maybe this might be the last night I spend in one of these roadside motels. So y'all stick with us. Let's go see what we get into. We left Nashville this morning. We drove through Kentucky and we are crossing the Ohio River right now. And we're about a half an hour away from seeing what could potentially be, hopefully be, our new second home on wheels. Or not on wheels. <laughs> I guess we'll see. We, you have reached your destination. We've made it. We're going to look and see our camper. And uh, I'm not going to film in there, but if everything turns out all right, we'll, uh, we'll see it in a little bit. Loading it up for the first time. Looks like we're bringing it home. We don't need to go a foot higher than we have to. Let's just stay nice and close to the truck. The higher you go, the more unstable it's good. Right? Okay. okay. Now your bird's eye view. Yeah, I'm I can be looking down through here. Right. It's going to tell us because this is our knockout side too. We don't have any knockouts on that side. Okay. That orange box is going to be.
So what you think so far, babe? I'm pretty excited about it. I'm a little bit nervous about it. Spending uh, spending quite a bit of money on on this old of an, a camper that I know has got a little bit of water damage to it, but I know that going in. Um, I think structurally it'll be fine. I think the truck's gonna be fine with it. We'll put some air in the bags. I'm pretty excited about sleeping in it tonight. <laughs> me too. I hope it's not hot. <laughs> yeah, me too. Mm. Or is it probably a good idea to do it? We got the camper in the back of the truck. It was a little bit of trial and error. I have a Paragon bed cover and the rails extend out into the bed a bit. So I was, I didn't take them off before I got here, but I had to pull them off. Um, and then just the hardest thing after that, we had to cut the two um, fast gun turnbuckles in the back. They were too long. We couldn't adjust them all the way down. So we had to do a lot of screwing in and screwing out the very long turnbuckles and we had to screw them all the way out to cut them. But other than that, it's on here now and we shouldn't have to do that again. So uh, I think in the near future, I'll be looking at a different bed cover that doesn't have bed rails. And uh, so let's see if we can get on down the road. We put about 45 pounds of air in the bags. I'm thinking I might put a little more. I'm not real sure. It feels a little wobbly, but I guess that's to be expected. I just put a lot of weight in the back of the truck. So uh, we're on a, in a 35 mile an hour zone right now. So I'm gonna wait till I get out on the road and see what it feels like. We'll give it to y'all in a little while. Well, we're just outside of Townsend, which is right at the base of the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. And we are heading to our first campground. Um, we drove from Ohio today. We drove six hours with the camper. The, uh, the truck handled flawlessly. I was very concerned about how it would handle. I've never driven anything like this. The ramp did really great. Um, when I first pulled onto the road, I didn't have quite enough air in my airbags and it was swaying pretty bad. But my first drive with the camper was south on I-75 through the mountains on a twisty interstate and, uh, and it did just fine. So we're gonna be at our, our campsite. It looks like a little bit after dark. So uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys in the morning. We'll talk about the first night and we'll kind of show you around the camera a bit. See ya. First night camping was a success. We got here last night. We are at the Elkmont Campground in the Smoky Mountain National Park. And we heard this lovely little river all night long. It was beautiful. Um, I guess it got down around 69 degrees last night. We didn't have to run the generator, the air conditioner. That was very nice. The uh, 
the Ram really handled the camper very well, man. I was very impressed with it. I was a little concerned about how it was gonna be. But uh, it's a cozy little space. And if anybody out there that's wondering, if you're a big guy and concerned about being a truck camper, I know I was. But it worked out just fine. The shower's a little small. I got no shoulder room. My head hits the ceiling. But I was able to take a shower. That was nice. But yeah, man. I like it. I think this is going to be really nice. Now I bought an older one. Because I wasn't sure if the wife and I were going to be comfortable in something quite so small. Or, you know. But uh, I think it's going to work out just fine. All right, y'all. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And until next time, score on Everyday Man.